Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Andrea Lutz. Cyber Monday is here today and we are checking in on those online sales. We're going to get to that story in a minute, but first. The new COVID-19 variant sweeping South Africa and other countries is threatening to hamper COVID recovery here in the United States. Well, meanwhile, thousands of American service members are facing disciplinary action if they are not fully vaccinated by today. The Marines are on track to have the worst record of all the branches. The Navy has the best. Jews around the world welcome the first night of Hanukkah. In Washington, D.C., Vice President Kamala Harris's husband took part in a menorah lighting. When it came to Black Friday, retailers saw a 50% increase in foot traffic compared to last year. Online spending actually declined on Black Friday for the first time. But companies are hoping to reverse that trend with today's Cyber Monday sales. And that's today's leading look. Talk about a mild day yesterday. Temperatures into the 50s, 60s, even 72 in Jordan for a daytime high on Sunday. Everything circled indicates a record high temperature for the date. Today, we're backing off the temperatures just a little bit, but we are bringing some showers in, especially western Montana, that'll sink across southern Montana into Wyoming by later in the day. Tomorrow, we start to increase the winds down the east slopes of the Rockies once again. And Wednesday and Thursday, very warm temperatures, especially east of the Continental Divide, and we could threaten some more record high readings. But there are some changes that'll come ahead in our seven-day forecast. We'll break all of that down for you. The complete forecast details, just a few minutes from now. Cyber Monday, traditionally the biggest online shopping day of the year, but supply chain issues could make some of those holiday gifts difficult to get. Here's Laura Podesta. The search for Cyber Monday deals is underway following a busy weekend of online shopping. Top selling products include toys, books, video games and appliances. Adobe Analytics says today retailers are offering big discounts on televisions. If you're looking to make that upgrade to a to a new TV, then Cyber Monday is going to be your day for that. TVs and thousands of other products are being handled at Amazon fulfillment centers. This one in New Jersey is 28 football fields in length, and there are hundreds more like it worldwide. There are more than 750,000 employees working across our operations buildings. Amazon says globally, customers ordered 1,600 products per second on Black Friday, and today could be even busier. Retail analysts predict online shoppers will spend a record $11.3 billion on Cyber Monday. But a shipping bottleneck and trucking delays are making it difficult for retailers to deliver. Adobe Analytics says out-of-stock messages in November are up 124% from pre-pandemic levels. The most common out-of-stock items are appliances, electronics, housekeeping supplies, and home and garden items. We've seen that consumers are planning ahead. They, they started earlier in terms of their shopping. Experts say shoppers looking for something specific should buy it now because it might not be around long. Laura Podesta, CBS News, Robbinsville, New Jersey.